Hi, this is Fabian from lifesparring.com and I'm here today to shoot a little follow-up video of a video I shot roughly three months ago. That was the dirty unboxing video of the Contact SP80B Spirometer. So I explained uh, in that video what a spirometer is, pretty much a device to measure your lung function. And I also explained uh, what my plan was um, to do with the device and um, yeah, how I wanted to run a few experiments around it. So I had a pretty crazy travel schedule over the past uh, few months. So I was twice in Europe and uh, spent uh, each time one week in hotel quarantine in Hong Kong. Uh, not the most fun. But I finally got to start a little bit working um, on this little project um, that I wanted to start. And um, yeah, I thought it's about time to show you the yeah, what I have done so far and give you an update what I'm planning down the road. And yeah, hopefully this is uh, interesting for you. So um, I showed the device last time. So this is the context pyrometer. This is the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece I always store separately. I wash it after every use um, and then dry it. Um, what I have done over the past week is pretty much conduct a lung test uh, every morning after getting up. So I get up, I stretch a bit, I wake up, shake um, yeah, my muscles out a little bit, and then I conducted um, three rounds um, of testing with the device. So normally it makes sense to test three times because um, yeah, you would see it in the results sometimes you just um yeah have like a little bit blips if you in, in one of the tests um yes and uh, it's it's pretty straightforward i demonstrate it one more time so i turn on the device um it then goes into loading it then asks me if i want to modify my data set which i do not want because i'm the only one using the device so i don't have to update the personal information i say no and then it says testing and then i breathe <laughs> and forcefully breathe out and then i immediately on the device get my result okay it's not super sharp here but yeah i will show you in the software um, a bit better what you get um, yeah, and I do that three times um, and um, yeah, every morning to get my baseline values. And what I want to do now is to switch my screens around a bit and show you the PC software that comes with the device and how my data that I collected over the past week looks in there. So stay with me for a second and let me switch the screens. Okay, so I'm back uh, now talking to you from the lower left corner um, of the screen to not cover too much of the screen space because um, as mentioned, what I want to do now is to go into the Spirometer Lite software that comes as a download code with the um, Spirometer. And uh, this is pretty much how it looks like. It's um, as the software's name already says, it's a very light software, very basic functionality, but it, um, it's helpful it does what it's supposed to do and it works fine um yeah which you cannot always say for for each for for each software piece that you get with a chinese piece of uh, electronic hardware so there are a few typos in here caucasian um, is one of them but overall it works um, pretty fine so it's pretty straightforward i don't demonstrate it now um there's a micro usb port on the device you plug it into the pc you immediately have the option to um, download the data. So you mark the data sets that you want to download and then you distribute them into your existing profile. So here I have this profile number two, Fabian, that's me. Um, and then I download all the data sets into this profile so that I can um, analyze them along each other. So what you see now here, these are the records um, that I took. So you see, usually I take three per day and you have here um, the test that I did um, as part of the unbo unboxing video. And then you see here 5th of June, 6th of June. Um, what you can see nicely is that uh, over time I improved a bit. So my value got a bit better and the curves align much better in the later tests. And this is simply that shows you how important it is to 
really spend some time and do a proper baseline testing with a new device. Don't take immediately the first values that you get out of the device and start interpreting them because you take time to understand how the device functioned and you have to set up your routine a little bit. So at the first few times, I think I was also a bit too excited to, to breathe in and pretty much coughed more than I was breathing. But um, yeah, over time you stabilize a little bit and now I think I have it down and then I also have values that I can work with. Um, what you can do here is you can go on a trend line and then you see all your values um, in, a, in a trend line over time. And um, yeah, that's of course quite helpful, um, especially later for the um, for my experiments, because of course I want to see if I can improve my lung function over time. But here it's also pretty good because I show you simply the results um, in a little bit different format. Um, the first thing up front is my values are normal. So in a medical sense, there's no abnormality. Um, I explained last time in the, in the unboxing video that my original motivation to go into this kind of um, yeah, breath work, breath testing, etc., is that I always feel that I'm a shallow breather, that uh, my lung capacity maybe is not particular um, big because, um, yeah, and, and as a adolescent, I always had problems to blow up balloons, for example, etc. So um, that's definitely something that I always felt. But if I look at those values, they seem to be pretty normal. So. You see on the on the um, upper left hand corner um, that's uh, my forced vital capacity. So that's pretty much how much air can I expel with a single breath. And um, yeah, the normal lung um, capacity for a male of my size, weight, um, height should be around five point five liters, somewhere between five and six liters. And you see um, the way that the test is conducted is normally there's an expected. Um, predicted value which is simply calculated based on the parameters that you provide size age height gender so this is this line and then um, you see here the 80 percent line so 80 percent of this value is this so 5.20 is the is my um, predicted um, fvc and um, 4.16 um, liters would be 80 percent of this and as you can see, my values track pretty much between those two lines. Here I'm above, two times I touch slightly below, but um, yeah, I'm normally between kind of like 80 and 90% of the predicted value. And this is pretty much a definition of, of a healthy lung. So a healthy lung should be um, in, a, a, in a spirometer test always above 80%. And um, yeah, so from this um, perspective, I'm fine and yeah like if you see here total here my, my highest total was like 5.5 roughly normally I'm somewhere 4.5 4.8 um, so that means also my lung capacity should be pretty normal for my body size and age group etc um, the same goes for the other um, value so this is after one second right if we um, if we won um, also pretty much um, in the yeah in the in this um, 80 to 90 percent um, range. The only thing where I'm a little bit lower here is um, FEF 75. So after 75 percent of the volume is out, um, then my yeah my my pressure um, goes down a bit. But I think that is pretty uncritical. So overall, the good thing is yeah my lung seems to be fine, and um, it's at least um, not um, yeah nothing to worry about. That of course doesn't mean that it's there's no way to improve it. And um, as I said, the main motivation was to see is it possible to improve um, lung function. And um, yeah, that's kind of the next step. So um, just in general, if you are interested um, in this whole topic, I would really recommend this article, An Approach to Interpreting Spirometry. Timothy um, J. Barrero and Irene Perillo, um, both from the University of Rochester School of Medicine. It's a, it's a very good article, just eight pages, giving you a good summary of um, what the spirometer testing does and how you interpret the result. That's a pretty good basic. 
Um, where do I go from here now? I explained that last time. So um, the O2 lung trainer was what um, yeah, I want to use primarily to set up my little testing. Um, this is the website um, O2 lung trainer, like the, the O2 trainer 2.0. So this is the newer version. Um, the device itself is uh, invented and promoted by Bas Rutten, um, famous Dutch kickboxer. Um, was a bunch of times on the Joe Rogan show as a kickboxing legend. And um, yeah, he developed this um, and used it apparently himself. And yeah, they do quite some, some bold claims of what the device can do. Um, I have an older version of the device. So I have my box still looks like this. And um, yeah, it's a bit different. I think the new version is a bit improved. I bought this um, some years back, um, but never really got to use it. So this is what is um, inside. So that's the main device um, that you put in your mouth. On the side, um, um, you put yeah the resistance pieces, and then there's a nose clip um, that's kind of optional. And the whole idea is pretty much that you that your breath outflow is unrestricted but your breath inflow is restricted. And by that, um, it forces your lungs to, um, the muscle around your lungs um, to work harder and um, get trained. And yeah, I mean, they, they have a bit of, of signs um, that they share on their, their website. Um, yeah, the main argument is really that they can increase um, the forced vital capacity. So the value that you just saw in my spirometer um, yeah, Buzz Rutten thinks and, and uh, thinks he can also back it up that we can improve this. And in theory, this should also mean that yeah, you have the um, better capacity to, to breathe. Um, you, that should mean that you also are able to yeah, improve endurance um, or, for example, and especially kind of in... in yeah, in situation where you really run out of gas, like boxing, etc., that are very taxing, um, perform better, and that's kind of the idea. So what I'm planning now from from here on is to set up a little training routine using the device, pretty much following um, the recommendation of their website, and then of course I document it um, and check with my spirometer and see if there is a difference. And um, of course, um, we'll also look a little bit at my performance in sports that I'm doing, if I can actually feel a difference. That's pretty much it. So I hope that, uh, yeah, you are interested uh, in this too, and that you possibly click a like uh, and, um, yeah, maybe even follow um, this channel to not miss the next updates. Of course, on livesparring.com, livesparring with a hyphen, you get uh, much more than just this video, but um, also articles um, about self-improvements, quantified self, um, etc. And um, yeah, as I said, you can expect more videos of this kind from me, um, especially also about this project. Until then, stay tuned and uh, protect yourself at all times. Cheers.